Now let us learn how to apply CSS style for the table element uh, of the HTML. So in order to do that what we do is that we basically write the element name as you can see here. So here I have written table td and th and you can see that below we have all the table related elements table tr th is basically the heading and then again tr and then td is basically the cells now because we have written the uh, css class name as the element name so what will happen is that all the css style will get applied for the respective uh, table elements so for table also for this element also for td also and for th also all will get applied so you will notice that your output will look something like this so here you can see that I have written table border 3 pixel you can see that border is 3 pixel and uh, it is of brown color and solid and border collapse equal to collapse it means that there is no padding between the borders now th is my heading and here I have a special background color pink so you can see that the heading background color is pink and uh, for td I have a specified text on left and border is one pixel solid and then black so it is it is border is coming as black for the cells now let me change it instead of brown let me uh, make it red and let me make the border table border as 6 pixel let us change the border of the cell is for example blue and let us change the head green and when I will refresh you can see that the table border is red the heading border sorry sorry let me re uh, run this page again by mistake I clicked something else the heading uh, background color is green and the uh, cells border is basically blue it is not appearing correctly so let me change the border pixel you can see that the cell border color is blue so this is the way to apply the CSS style for the uh, table element of the HTML now let us try to learn how to apply margin and padding related CSS style before we go ahead and uh, see the demonstration let us first try to understand what is margin and what is padding margin is basically a space around the border okay and um, padding is basically a space around the content the let's take example of this one so if I will treat this as a border then I would say that this much of thing this much of space is basically a margin and the space between this border and the text this much of a space is called padding okay here I'm assuming that this is my border okay so the left side of the border is basically the margin and the inside of the border space is basically the padding now let's try to understand how to apply margin and padding related CSS properties so for that I have a page called for margin dot STM. Okay, in this, what we have done, we have first specified the margin. So let me show you how how I have done that. And for that, what I have done is that I have created one CSS style called class two. Let me use this class two, but before I use it, first let me show the output of this page. So here is the output, as you can see. Now, what I have done is that in this in the first div I have another div whose class is class 2 now because its class is class 2 so what will happen is that its margin will get applied its CSS style that is specified into the class 2 will get up applied so here I have written this is one way to specify the margin in the single line you can specify all four direction margins so I have specified for example top top is 20 pixel right is 30 pixel bottom is maybe 50 20 pixel again and the left is for example 50 pixel now what will happen is that this the parent div as you can see here now just see that the top margin from the parent div is 
20 pixel the left margin is 50 pixel the right margin because there is this so we cannot find out what is the right margin but the right margin is 30 pixel and the bottom margin is 20 pixel now let us try to change the top margin so top margin in order to change the top margin what we will have to do we will have to modify the first value so let us make it 100 now what will happen the this margin will change you can see that this margin has changed to 100 pixel so either you can specify all four directions margin into the single a statement or you can write one by one for example if I want to specify only top margin then I can write here margin top equal to 50 pixel so you can see that only top margin is getting applied if I have to write for example left then I will write margin dash left and whatever pixel so you can see that 50 pixel is getting applied from here so this was the margin where we can either specify all four directions margin into the single statement separated by uh, a space or we can also specify margin and dash left dash top dash bottom and dash uh, right now similarly we can also specify the padding so for example let me do that padding I am saying 20 pixel 50 pixel 50 pixel and bottom is again 20 pixel and right is again 30 pixel now what will happen you can see that the margin uh, sorry the padding around the text is getting applied now you can see that it is really difficult because in the margin case also we were getting the same behavior and in padding case also we were getting the same behavior so let us specify a border here one pixel solid and then green now you will notice that the the padding is getting applied for this content so the padding is the difference the distance between the border and the content now just notice it here if I will change here padding to margin then see what is happening in this case what is happening now there is no padding here so if there is no padding so the border of the the inside div is just exactly near to the content and this margin is getting applied from this div so that is why it is left pixel is 20 top uh, sorry top is 20 right is 50 and bottom is 20 and the left is 30 I hope it was clear now in case we also want to specify padding here then we can do here something like this padding and for example I'm doing the same thing just I'm changing little bit so let's say 5 pixel 5 pixel 10 pixel and 10 pixel now we will see that sorry I have written 100 pixel now we see that this is the padding the bottom one is padding that is getting applied around the content but the top and the margin that is getting applied around the border as I said if you don't want to specify padding for all the directions then you can write one by one also for example padding top 50 pixel so it will only specify padding for the top side